So by now, you probably watched a ton of videos on YouTube automation and faceless channels, and you're truly sold on the idea of creating one yourself. But now you can't seem to decide on a niche. You're stuck. There are so many you like, and they all sound good. But which ones are best? I can already see you typing a comment to me going, Gareth, what are the best niches to start in 2023 as a beginner? Well, before you pull the trigger on that comment, I want you to remember two things. Firstly, you are the one that's going to be involved in the creation of this channel. This is a long-term business, so what interests you the most? When things get tough or you get a little bit burnt out, and you will, you'll have a greater chance of pushing on if you are actually interested in the topic of your channel. And secondly, something I've said a hundred times by now, well, maybe not a hundred, but a fair few times, is that you need to start with how you plan to monetize your channel first, as you probably won't get millions of views right away. Not in the beginning, anyways. So with that in mind, let's cover five niches I think you should consider as a stuck beginner in 2023. Before we start, if you would like full step-by-step -step training on how to build profitable YouTube channels, then check out the links in the video description. Now, the first niche is one that I'm about to start a new channel in myself, and it's AI. Yes, it would have been great if we both started six months ago, but it is one that's just getting bigger and bigger. So there is still plenty of space as well as sub-niches for us to get started in. Take for example the AI Grid, a faceless news channel that was started seven months ago and has around 90,000 subscribers already and is, at the time of recording this, generating about 750,000 monthly views. Any niches that have channels growing at this speed are ones that are most definitely worth looking into. Another similar example is AI Revolution. This channel looks almost the same as the last one, and after listening to a video, I can hear that they're using an 11 lab stock AI voice. A quick view of the source code shows that the channel is monetized, so it's yet another great example of AI text-to-speech voices getting monetized on YouTube, just in case you still had your doubts about that. The channel is now growing very, very quickly and has over a million monthly views at the time of recording. What I love about AI as a niche is that much like Bitcoin at its peak, there is an endless supply of new content ideas arriving daily, so you won't get stuck for new video options. It's also going to be easy to monetize with affiliate offers as all of the products that are being created are digital, so almost all of them have affiliate programs in place. And as they are digital products, they generally offer a higher percentage of commissions. AI is also trending in all spaces online, so there is massive crossover between the niches, making growth easier. But I'll have to confirm that once I start this new channel myself. And finally, the CPM is going up, as all of those softwares are starting to run ads. I've noticed this with AI videos on this channel, so it's definitely one to consider as a beginner. My only issue with AI, much like Bitcoin, is that it's going to be more of a news trending style of channel. This means a lot of your content will get fast views, but it won't have evergreen growth, not unless softwares withstand the test of time, which many of them won't. So you may have to create a lot of weekly content just to sustain growth. There is also the downside of having to do a lot of research and testing of all of these different softwares. Sadly, there is no AI app or tool for this, so videos will take longer to make unless you can hire someone to do this for you. The second niche I recommend for beginners is general health, especially the remedies and weight loss space. Now, it's worth mentioning that this is a pretty saturated niche, so you would have to pick a sub-niche when starting out. Pick a goal that people really want with their health, as this will help you drive engagement. Because of the rise in competition, I've seen many larger channels like Bestie and Body Hub see a drop in their views per video. So Gareth, why are you recommending this to beginners, I hear you ask? Well, let's take a look at Body Hub. This is a faceless general health channel that is still getting millions of monthly views. But if you look a little deeper, you can see that videos on weight loss, increasing testosterone, and fitness goals are still their biggest videos. That's because we humans are always going to want to lose weight and improve our overall health. But not only that, we are always going to be looking for new shortcuts to get those results for us. So demand for this content will always be there. The other reason is monetization. I'm not talking about ads here. We already know you probably won't get millions of views in this niche anytime soon. But as there are so many products in this niche, from vitamins to weight loss supplements, many of them even with monthly subscriptions, 
then if you pick the right products for long-term relationships and you can generate somewhere between 50 to 100,000 monthly views, then you could still have a very profitable small channel. And if your channel explodes later, you can make some serious cash here. My third niche is ghost stories or stories in general. Now, before you flood the comments telling me that you've heard these types of channels don't get monetized, let me explain. First off, they do get monetized. It's just that everyone keeps copying the same Reddit stories, which YouTube doesn't like. That's copying and reusing content. But with ChatGPT, you don't need to copy anymore. You can leverage Reddit stories or those of other channels for ideas and get ChatGPT to create something similar, but a new story. You see, ChatGPT is good with old data and fictional stories, as the data it was trained on was from years ago, so it's not always right or up to date. But this doesn't matter with fictional stories. Take for example Mr. Nightmare, with over 6 million subscribers and 12 million monthly views. The quality of these videos is very good now, but they used to use static images with the odd video clip thrown in. I'm not even sure they would pass monetization by today's standards. But since they've grown so big, they now have the budget to spend on high quality animated videos. You could take some ideas from these types of channels and get ChatGPT to create something similar and original. For that reason, I still think Stories is a great option as a beginner channel. With that said, the one drawback is the lack of monetization options, so you would need to be creative to add additional revenue streams here. The fourth idea is travel tips. Now, before I get asked how you can do this and where you can find great stock footage, I'm not talking about travel in the beautiful stock video sense, showcasing different areas. This can become challenging or even expensive, trying to find everything that you need on stock footage sites these days. What I'm talking about is tips, such as top 10 things to do in New York, best apps to navigate London transport systems, best gelato in Florence, and so on. You get the point. But these types of videos are easier to create and you could even go deeper into researching Facebook groups to get up-to-date tips from expats who now live there. You could do it on a country or even a city level to go super niche, then create new channels for each different city, or one super channel for all of them. So there are endless options here. A great example channel I like to recommend in the travel space is World According to Briggs. Although more general, this channel does very niche tips in its videos. It also has over a million subscribers and 3.5 million monthly views, making it bigger than most channels out there. So there is definitely demand for it. The travel niche also has high CPMs, so for that reason and the ease of finding content ideas, I feel travel tips is a perfect beginner's niche to get started in. The fifth and final niche is animals. Now, this is one I would normally tell people to leave well alone, as animal channels paint a picture of funny compilation videos or even memes, and these just don't always get monetized anymore. Not without serious repurposing, which isn't always that beginner friendly. However, I do see some opportunities here. And as many people are pretty crazy about their furry friends, it can be very lucrative. America alone spends nearly $80 billion on their pets every year, so it's an insanely big market with a ton of products and services to promote. This means adding revenue streams will be easy. The secret here is tapping into those passionate animal audiences. You could do educational videos on different wild animals, but that would cut you off from the easy monetization. However, if you create a channel on, say, French Bulldogs, you have a very niche and passionate audience with highly targeted and relevant products. Take, for example, the channel Griffin Frenchie. This isn't a faceless channel, but it is a perfect example of what I mean. They have over 600,000 subscribers and 13 million plus monthly views, which is massive and shows the demand is really here. Sure, lots of people would just be here for the cute videos on dogs, but a large portion will be here because they like French Bulldogs or they have one themselves. For that reason, some viewers will want the products featured in the videos. You just have to click inside any video to find product links to French Bulldog-related products. In fact, they have an entire website and shop dedicated to just French Bulldogs. So this is a full retail business being generated off the back of their YouTube channel. And with over 13 million monthly views, they could be making some serious money here. With that said, if you would like full step-by-step -step training on building profitable YouTube channels, then check out the links in the video description. Thanks for watching, and until next time.